at the present time you're working here? Temporarily. Temporarily. And where have you done most of your nursing work? In adolescent psych. Um, I guess about half in adolescent, because it's been over 30 years now, about half in adolescent psych and half in education. And uh, what brought you to the Congress on Health and Safety? I was doing a graduate student practicum experience and with the Division of Nursing. And when I came, I was asked if I would be interested in going to a meeting for the Congress on Health and Safety. And I was interested, so I started working with Evie and doing um, a poster presentation and attending the meetings of the Congress on Health and Safety. And what has the experience been like coming as a, as a kind of an outsider intern working with the poster? Um, it was, a wonderful, it was a wonderful experience because I had a little bit of an idea of what M&A was involved in, but I had no idea of how much it was involved in um, with the education, but particularly health and safety. Um, I was not familiar with any other organization that focused on health and safety of nurses. Throughout my career, I know that I came into contact with nurses that were out of work because of back injuries, um, issues because of bloodborne pathogens. There was a lot of workplace violence when I worked in adolescent psych. Um, back when I was doing that, and I left adolescent psych in the mid-90s, prior to that time frame, whenever a staff person would be assaulted on the psych units, Generally, you would be told that you could not press any charges because they were psych patients. And many times, there, I think assaults occurred because of their psychiatric illness, and you would not want to press charges. But there were many times, especially in the adolescent population, where it was manipulated, or well thought out, and um, it was a choice on whether the patient was assaulting a staff person or not. And right as I was leaving, we finally took the first patient um, and pressed charges, which um, was a little bit unheard of at that point in time. And, and I believe that it really needs to be looked at. I, I definitely believe psych patients, you, it's a fine line on whether it's, it's a true assault or if it was their illness that caused the assault. But. Um. I asked you what it's like as an outsider, but I guess the other question oh. would be, um, what, what, what well, would you like to ask? Um, as soon as I came um, and started helping in the Division of Nursing, I, all of the staff people were very welcoming, wanting to let me learn whatever was available within their realm of their responsibilities. Um, and. It was just an experience that I don't think could have been duplicated anywhere else because of the different areas that M&A is involved in. And I was able to go to the Board of Registration and Nursing to meetings. I was able to attend multiple conferences, not only that M&A provides, but also from the Medical Society in Massachusetts. Um, I think what else did I do? I guess those, I also worked on a position statement with the um, Congress on Nursing Practice. So it was just a very varied experience, which was nice for me because of having been in education before, I was at the college level of education. I wasn't at doing education for registered nurses. And so it's been a nice transition to see what is being offered and all of the free CE programs that, that are given by M&A are unheard of in other states. And I, what's, your, what's your general attitude or, or opinion, I guess, about the Health and Safety Committee here and the work that they do and how they present themselves? And all? I've been extremely impressed by the expertise of the different members on the Congress on Health and Safety. Um, each member brings something 
different to the Congress and um, they're also committed and dedicated and bottom line their major concern is the health and well-being of the nurses and um, they've done a lot of work in that and I think that nurses there's a shortage in nursing. They keep talking about a shortage in nursing. So I think we need to look at how are we going to keep the nurses that we have healthy and maintaining in the work environment today. Um, and they, it's just such a wide range of things that they do um, or that they've investigated and researched with the air quality of some hospitals to the workplace violence to musculoskeletal disorders of nurses um, and on and on. Anything else you can think of? Um, I know one thing Evie asked me to say was if anybody's interested in doing an internship experience or a practicum experience at MA to um, contact the Division of Nursing, Dorothy McCabe, or the Division on Health and Safety, and that would be Chris Pontus.